Mr Justice Eady said there was no longer any point in trying to maintain the footballer's anonymity. Well, Sky's Mark Stone is at the Royal Courts of Justice. Mark. Yeah, Colin, a complicated legal story this, which has just got rather less complicated because we can now name uh, the footballer in question. Uh, it dates back to February this year, an article in the Sun newspaper which claimed that Imogen Thomas, the glamour, the Welsh glamour model and former star of Celebrity Big Brother, uh, had had an extramarital affair with a Premiership footballer. Now, at the time, uh, the newspaper did not name that footballer and he, later that day, came here to the High Court to seek an injunction to prevent anyone from naming him. Now, that injunction was granted, but importantly, uh, it did not mean that Imogen Thomas's name couldn't be mentioned. So in the subsequent months, although his name was not mentioned, her name was repeatedly. And not only that, there were suggestions in the newspapers that apparently had come uh, from uh, the named person, who we can now say is Ryan Giggs, uh, that she had been somehow blackmailing him, that she had wanted to sell her story, uh, and that she was uh, trying to get one back on him, if you like. Uh, that was the claim. It was something she was unable to respond to because the injunction was in place. So ever since then, uh, she has been trying to fight to, to clear her name, if you like, and her lawyers today uh, managed to get that through. There was an open statement read in open court in which uh, it was read out by her lawyers, which said quite clearly uh, that Ryan Giggs did not believe uh, that she had been blackmailing him. 